Hi, Carrie here with Wyoming Sisters, and I just wanted to share some cards. Um, I had some strips left over of jelly prints, and I um, wanted to play with those a little bit. So I uh, cut them into little pieces, and then I went through my scrap pile of cardstock to mat them. Um, I used this stamp. It's uh, Stampers Anonymous. It's the photograph one. And a few of them, and then I use the um, Stampers Anonymous. I use this little saying, um, "Courage is being yourself every day in a world that expects you to be someone else." I just thought that was a really nice, uplifting message that would work um, with a lot of things. So I'm just gonna go through these. Um, they're pretty simple, um, and it was really able to make a lot of um, cards relatively quickly um, because I kind of use the assembly line where I cut the um, strips into pieces and um, then stamped them all and then I um, some of them I used this edge punch by Fiskars so that they would kind of look like a big postage stamp it just added more visual interest and then I mounted them on uh, I cut scraps of cardstock that I had that I thought would coordinate with the prints that I had and uh, layered them up. So they're really simple cards. They'll mail well because most of these don't have too much to mention. Some of them have ribbon. There's one that probably wouldn't mail good because I put some jewels on it. Um, this, is, this one turned out good because that was like it has the little butterfly. Um, but these are kind of fun and colorful. And these, this one I don't think would ship well because I used some little jewels on it. Um, so this would probably be a hand deliver one. Um, so there you go. Um, just using some scraps, I was able to make um, almost almost two dozen cards. I think they're 21 cards. So I just wanted to share with you real quick what I came up with. And here comes the dog. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting from the Wild West. Bye.